what would I be if I didn't talk about how the Boston Celtics have been playing as of recently? 11 game winning streak so far. I think the last time they took an L, I don't remember. I know it was before All Star break. I'll say the last time they took an L was probably either to the Denver Nuggets or Clippers at home. But what does it matter? They're rolling. Nobody's catching them as far as the regular season. Postseason, that's a different story. As we know, postseason, they have come up. Well, I wouldn't say they come up short, but I guess you have come up short, shorter than expectations of winning a ring. You're supposed to be, this team was supposed to be heralded as finals participants for the last few years now, and they haven't sealed the deal yet. But in yesterday's afternoon game, Jalen Brown of the Boston Celtics scored 29 points. Jason Tatum had 27 on his 26th birthday. And the Boston Celtics, the NBA's best Boston Celtics, posted their third largest winning margin in franchise history, stumping the mud hole in the Golden State Warriors, 140 to 88, who before then was actually playing well somewhat. Peyton Pitcher added 19 points for the Celtics and set a league record with their third win of this season by 50 points or more, extending their season best streak to 11 games. Um, they led by, damn, they led by a franchise record 44 points at halftime and pushed it to 51 early in the third quarter before Joe Missoula, uh brung the starters out and put the reserves in. Hmm. It's funny. I'm talking about this big time win, but they was very silent when the Milwaukee stumped the mud hole in the Celtics with everybody playing earlier in the season. But anyways, we ain't gonna talk about that. Uh Celtics are beating teams by an average of 21, 22 points a game over the past eleven games. The best point difference over a winning streak of the last ten games in a single season in NBA history, according to Eli Isaiah's Sports Bureau Research, Boston has has outscored teams by 29.8 points per game over the past six seasons, past six seasons, past six games, and span that includes 50-point wins. Damn. Something that only only two teams have done in an entire season. That's the best point differential over a six-game span in NBA history, passing the 71-72 loss in Lakers, which was plus 28.3 who won that 69 games, which was a record. Uh, Celtics, uh, the 23-24 Celtics had one of the best records through 60 games in franchise history. Boston has won the three titles. And won the title three of the past four times the team has posted a 48-12 record by this point in the season. Uh, last time was done with the 2007-2008 Boston Celtics, which won a title before that, was the 85-86 team, 49-11. and It was considered one of to be the best teams in history. Uh, Stephen Curry did not play the second half of this game. He finished the season level with four points for the Warriors. Fierce since he had three points in 16 minutes on March 16th, almost two years ago, at a game in Boston, a game that he left with a foot injury. Curry was 2 for 13 from the field on Sunday and missed all nine of his three point attempts. It was the fourth worst loss in franchise history for the Warriors. They had won 11 of 13, including the first three of their East Coast Road trip against Toronto, the Knicks, and I forgot the other team they played. Uh, Lester Cornes, I never can pronounce his name. Led the Golden State Warriors with 17 points in a team high 33 minutes. So, uh, this game was close in the opening quarter, but after that, the Celtics just scored 14 points in a row. The next 14 points began a 58, damn, 58 and 13 spree that put them ahead by 35 late in the second quarter. Oh. I guess the Celtics are standing on business. Um, largest morning of victory for Celtics history. Uh, 50, the last time before um, 
today's game. Uh, it was fit plus 53 against the Kings in 2022. 2018 plus 56 at the Bulls. Today, uh, yesterday was plus 52. Last year was plus 51 against the Pacers. Uh, February 14th was plus 50 against the Nets. Uh, but Boston shot 62% on threes. 57% overall in the opening quarter. This is crazy. Uh, but Christoph Porzingis did leave the game. Uh, left quad in the third. Was it the third quarter? I think it was the third quarter. So that's something to be concerned about. Um, yeah, Boston Celtics... They're good, but um, I'm sure fans and other people want to see them do this in the postseason and not do this in the uh, regular season. Because they have done this plenty of times before, it looked like it, and they fall short each time. And when I mean fall short, falling short or winning the ultimate prize, uh, shoot, I'm looking at the Warriors' uh, box score. Three people scored over, got into double figures. Uh, Moody, Lester, and Robinson. Everybody else was under. Thompson had six. Green had six. Kaminga had six. It was terrible. Boston Celtics, Al Horford, seven. Uh, Drew Holiday had seven. Derek White with 14. Like I said before, Tatum and Brown both had 29 and 27 each. Uh, the bench played well. Pitcher had 19. Sam Hauser had 12. Tillman had seven. Uh, this team looks like it's going to be great, but we shall see what happens in the end. Because I always say, and this goes for any team, and always relies on their two stars, Tatum and Brown. Last year, against the Miami Heat, they folded in that game seven. They had an anchor, Jason Tatum. And nope, 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 nope. There's players better than him who had injuries too, and they eked it out. So I don't want to hear it. Uh, as for the Golden State Warriors, this is just another milestone in the decline of this team. Which is sure enough to be coming very soon. Um, meaning, breaking it. I don't know about breaking this team up, but uh, the three core pieces of the Warriors, they may be breaking up soon at the end of the season. But we'll see. Uh, but, anyways, tell me what you guys think.